Take us through that, and um, was that kind of what you expect, how you expected the fight to go tonight? Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to all of you guys. And in my mind, I was imagining I'm doing a knockout. <laughs> but I studied a lot, Emily, and I saw her in her jiu-jitsu. It's good, but I trust in my coaches and my jiu-jitsu, and I go to Mata Leão. <laughs> Tell us about uh, what happened uh, yesterday at the weigh-ins, because I think that took a lot of people by surprise. I mean, yeah, and I, I love that feeling. I was there waiting to her, uh, looking to the down, and she comes look at me. Huh? I'm born in this world, you know. My daddy, since I'm a child, he's a coach, I'm a coach. So for me, this and me, I think in her mind, she was thinking, ah, she will be scared of me. But girl, I just have this face, the smiling face. But in my heart, I'm a lion. I'm born in the MMA, in right. MMA. I'm born and together to the fighter. So for me, that was the click for yeah, Amanda. You are UFC fighter. Did that, that fire you up that much more when you were walking out tonight, knowing that that happened yesterday? Did it Oh, of course, yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, I was happy to be there, and that, that for me was like, girl, you will feel my punch, and that's it. Did you expect to be this dominant on the ground in this fight? No, no, no. That uh, I, I was, like I said to him, I was expecting to knock out her, but when I feel I can't go to her back, so I did my job. <laughs> you said in your post-fight comments after the fight that you were nervous going up there. Why, why so? Because I'm being three years without fighting in the cage. I'm training a lot. I'm eating cage, but I'm not fighting. So I was really nervous because that feeling you can't control. Everybody be nervous. The difference then is who control your nervous. I think I did that well, so the next time I hope I'll be better. You told me before the fight that because you competed in jiu-jitsu and, and kickboxing and Muay Thai, you didn't think that the, the time off would be a big factor in this fight. Yes. Did that seem to play true in this fight? Do you feel some ring rest or, or not enough? Thank God, no. I was thinking I'm a little lazy, but I fly in the cage. I was so happy. So that was awesome. In the first round, were you surprised that she didn't tap? No, no I'm not surprised because my arm was here and her, yeah. understand? I didn't put in the neck. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, I go, go, tap, 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 but she didn't. So I waited two seconds out. <laughs> Considering it's been you know, three years since you fought and two years since you signed to the UFC, do you want to get back in there pretty soon? Yes, I was thinking I might just say on the case to the Dana, to the Mick, please let me find the October 18, because my mom's birthday is October. So I want to give her a present. And please, Dana, Mick, if you watch this, let me fight October 18. Anyone in mind? No, I don't have any, nine, any name in my mind, but I don't know. I'm an ambitious girl, so if they can put like a 15th in the ranking, <laughs> I'm a, I can get it.